G'day guys, Aussie Fever HD, and welcome back to episode number 39 of Foot Champions to Glory on my channel. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. Today, as always, your target is 15 likes. I know you guys can hit it. I know you guys can smash it. You always do. You did in the last episode, so thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. 15 likes is your target today. Hit that. It's much appreciated. Thank you very much. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit, the, hit that subscribe button to help it grow. Today, lads, we have gameplay from the first 10 games of the Foot Champions Weekend League. Now, you will see some incredible gameplay with this 80, sorry, 97 rated team of the season, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. This guy is a freak. I'm telling you, he is an absolute freak. And you're going to see that in the clips. But... We also have some questions, as I said, from the last episode, number 68, so bear with me while I grab those up right now. Yeah, uh, you guys, your guys' support was once again amazing in that episode, so thank you very much for that. CFC RMFC, another loyal fan to the channel, says, Team of the Season or Ebra always destroys me, and yes, man, he destroyed my bank, but it was worth it. He is literally the best striker I have used this year. The things that he can do, the shots that he pulls off, his finishing is the best I have used in this game. He's better than Ronaldo, he's better than Messi, he's better than, um, who's another one? Uh, who's, a good, who's a really good striker? Um, he's better than Aubameyang. I mean, oh, oh my goodness, this guy is legit. If you guys have 1.8 million coins, I think he is now, if you have 1.8 million coins, be sure to go and pick him up. You will not regret it. He's a lot of coins, I know, but... Oh, God, he's a good striker. Sketcher Hura Rahoa says, You say you like the Panthers roasted glory, but this is way better. <laughs> I mean, that is a that is an insane compliment. I do really appreciate that, bro. But really, the Panthers, I don't know. He's really, really good. I love listening to him. His voice is just so calming. Um, and his voice is just so entertaining to listen to for some reason like if you he, if he had a podcast and he just sat there and talked I think I would listen because um, if he talked about you know paint drawing on the wall if he talked about cars FIFA games whatever it just seems to be interesting so I don't know what is it what it is with the Panthers but it just is always interesting but if that's your opinion if you think I'm better then I'll take it because um Honestly, I don't think I'm better than a Penthes. I don't know why I would be better than a Penthes, but thank you very much for that, man. I do appreciate it. Keen says, this is clickbait. And uh, I'm not sure why he said this is clickbait. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. Because in the title I said, Oh my effing God, Team of Season is Latan Ibrahimovic. Put Foot Champions to Glory episode number 68, FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. I don't know how that's clickbait. Honestly, I think he's just doing that to pull my leg. I think he's just doing that to, I don't know, get on my nerve. And he's not. I honestly, you know, each to their own, his own opinion. He's able to have his own opinion. If he, th if he thinks that's clickbait, I'm not going to take that away from him. I'm not going to take that away from him. So, if you honestly think that's clickbait, I do really apologise, um, Kian. I think your name is, and uh, I'll be sure to maybe fix that issue in the pro in the future. But in my opinion, from my view and from a lot of other people's views, my my titles aren't clickbait. Just I don't know how they are. But anyway, Cameron Webb said, "Just discovered this series. Been subbed to you for a while after one of your vids. So I know it haven't been watching you for longer. Keep up the good work, dude. GG. Thank you very much, Cameron. Um, that just." Comments like that really do make my day. Um, you know, just, so, and, and you know, comments like the one from Ruhoa, you know, and ones from Cameron, they just make my day. And just to hear you guys say that it's a good series and you're enjoying it, I do, I do really, uh, I appreciate it. Because the, the main reason why I started this channel was to help you guys and to create a community, a sense of family um, in this channel of Aussie FIFA HD. And, it just, it's starting to kick off. You guys are always talking to each other. You're commenting down below. Um, your comments are just so supportive. And it's just, it's just fantastic. And uh, I'm glad you found the series entertaining, Cameron. And I hope you are here to watch more episodes uh, to come. H Hudson Gay Lee says, I have the bell on already. Also, thanks for the mentioning me in your videos. And no problem, dude. No problem. Thank you very much for being in my videos and commenting and showing your support. So, a big shout out to Hudson. Um, he's always been in the channel showing his support. So, thank you very much for that. And also, another big thank you for um, putting the bell on. Because 
there's an issue with YouTube. I said this in a few episodes ago, but there's an issue in YouTube where um, people will subscribe to someone, you know, because they want to see their content. But then YouTube will unsubscribe to them because maybe they missed a video or two. Now that's just not good enough for me. And also, if you subscribe to someone, you're not always guaranteed to get their video in your notification box or in your um, in your in your sub box, which is just preposterous. I think that's just such. It's very um, what what? It's very unprofessional in my opinion because if you. If someone wants to sub to someone because they like them or they like the content that they're doing and you can't watch their videos, well you can watch them if you search them up, but if you can't watch their videos or you miss out on their videos because they're not in your sub bots, it's very unprofessional in my opinion from YouTube or from Google and I think it needs retweaking because there's been a few on my channel that have subscribed to me because they you know, enjoy the content. They go to their sub bots and they think, oh he hasn't uploaded, hasn't uploaded today so I'm going to unsubscribe. Because I thought he was a daily uploader, but no, he's not. But then they find out that, oh, he has been uploading all of this time. It's just that YouTube or Google haven't put, been putting his videos into my sub bots. And that, to me, as I said, is just not good enough. And I think it needs retweaking. Uh, it needs to be fixed. But, uh, yeah, if you, if, you know, if you put the bell on, feel free to. It's, it's, it's your, your, your choice, but it would be much appreciated. <coughs> NS, just NS, that's his name, NS. But you did clickbait. You wanted to do, you wanted to do us think, uh, it didn't make sense what he said there, but he says, this is his exact words. But you did a clickbait. You wanted to do us think that you pat Ronaldo or you maybe react, oh my effing God, to Pepe. And he's come on here from the previous episode where I, or episode number 67, where I showed the picture just before the walkout comes out. And that's what every single YouTuber does, right? If you get a walkout in a pack, you put the thumbnail as walkout, oh my effing god, and you put the, the, the picture as it's just about to walk out. That's what I did. And the picture and the symbol was Portuguese and Real Madrid because I packed Pepe. People think, because I put that up, they think I packed Ronaldo. I did not once say in that title, Oh my god, I packed Ronaldo. What I said was, oh my effing god, no way, Elite Foot Champions Rewards, FIFA 17 over the team. I did not once say I packed Ronaldo. I just put the clip just before the walkout came out. And that's what every single YouTuber does. But when I do it, oh my god. Oh my god. You, you, you get roasted. And as I said, you know, as I said, I'm with all opinions. Um, if you have an opinion on me, that's negative or positive, I take it on board. And I try and improve this channel so that it's good for everyone. And, it, and you know, there's no haters on it. Because I hate haters. You know, uh, uh, well, no, if, if you want to hate on my channel, that's fine. That's fine. I won't even block you. It's your own opinion. If you don't like me, it's fine. But to be honest with you, as I said, you know, I do take people's opinions on board. I want to change what is negative, And I want to keep on the channel what is positive. Now, I just don't see how that is clickbait. Um, you guys think it was clickbait? Well, a few of you were anyway. I, you know, quite a lot of you texted me or messaged me or tweeted me or commented in the video saying that, no, it wasn't clickbait, don't listen to them, which I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys that said it was clickbait, but just in my opinion, it wasn't. However, in the future, I shall, I shall, shall, shall try and fix that issue where you guys think it's clickbait. I might, you know, show that it is pet bait, but then, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I might fit in the in the uh, in the in the future. NS, same guy, says I got the Lana and 90 rated son in five packs, so I don't think it is a waste. And is it is pretty big chance to pack a team of season or an inform now. He's having a go at me about when I said in the video of episode number 68 where I said I don't think these premium Bundesliga team of the week packs. No, premium Bundesliga player packs or the premium BPL player packs are worth it because I don't think they're worth it because I opened about 200k worth and I've got no team of the season. I've got no inform. I got, actually, no, I got one inform. Um, I think that was in that episode actually. I got one inform. No, I didn't. Not in that episode, but I did pack an inform from one of those BPL premium team of the week packs. But 
he says that they are worth it. So, I mean, you know, as I said, lad, as I said, you know, see, NS, it's t your opinion. Um, it's it's not mine. You know, I'm willing to take other people's opinions on board. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, those pats are not worth it. We also had some comments from the Proverse YouTuber, which is going down very well. You guys are really enjoying that, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy you guys are enjoying that. That was against me and Marcus. And once again, thank you very much, Marcus, for excuse me um, for for being on the channel and uh, you know uh, you know playing me. Right, so, Marcus says, GG man, those were some great games, even though I lost the second one. Haha, <laughs> great video as well, love the editing. Thank you very much, Marcus, and I do appreciate you once again coming onto the channel and uh, being a part of this series, which I do think has been quite successful. You guys are, are fairly enjoying it. Actually, let me know in the comment section down below, are you enjoying it? Because I'm enjoying it. I know a few other people are enjoying it, but if you haven't yet commented um, on the video and uh, let me know your thoughts on it, then do so. And tell me whether you are enjoying this pro vs youtuber you know um series because i'm enjoying it i'm loving it i'm loving playing these pros it's fantastic and uh, to pull a win off marcus you know i think that's amazing um because marcus is a fantastic player and yes he did deserve to win but i got six shots and six shots on target and i believe that um i played quite well in that game and you will see um, in episode number three of Pro vs YouTuber, I do get another win against the Pro, and uh, you'll have to see who that is. Um, you'll have to wait for that, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. Jed Hopkins says, This is awesome, my favourite series on the channel, keep it going. Thank you very much. And that's one comment that says, you know, they are enjoying the series, which is amazing, and uh, I honestly hope you guys. Keep enjoying it. Now, there were, were a lot of comments on this video, but I do just realise, I did just realise now that I actually answered a few of those in episode number 68, so I won't go and repeat myself, but I do believe I did miss out on some from uh, a few videos ago on 66, so I'm just going to check that out. Yes, I did. So, there are a few comments from there. Um, thank you very much once again, guys, for, you know, being a part and you know commenting and showing your support but classy mo says keep up the amazing work thank you very much classy mo another, another loyal another loyal you know fellow to the channel and i do appreciate it hudson gailey says thanks for answering my question and once again a great video thank you very much hudson cfc rmfc says keep up the great content i agree aussie pack luck comes and goes i can't complain considering i packed 10 of the season neymar in FIFA 15. That is amazing. Um, Neymar. Team of the season Neymar. That's really nice. He would have been 96, I believe, because he was 97 as his team of the year. Yeah. Oh, no. No, that was last year, wasn't it? I can't remember. No, he didn't actually have a team of the year. It was Robin who got the team of the year in FIFA 15. But, yeah, that's, a, that's still awesome to get Neymar team of the season. Jed Hawkins says, another good video. This would be sick if you got top 100. <sighs> I know. <laughs> I'm just so depressed that I didn't get top 100 from this week. I just spoiled it a bit. You know, I, I think I could get top 100 one day. It's going to be a tough ask, though. I think it's going to be a tough ask. WG Skill says, great video. Thank you very much, WG. Kwan Conradi says, nice video, buddy. Thank you very much, Kwan. And Skijahuahua says, great episode. Thank you very much, my friend. I do really appreciate it, lads. But, as you all have seen from the gameplay, in the end, we, uh, you know, do get ourselves nine wins and one loss, which then brings me on to, can I get, to, to, can I get top 100? Now, if you compare Xbox to PS4, Xbox has 36 wins with four losses, which gets you top 100. On PS, you need to get 38 wins and two losses, maybe 37 wins and three losses, but you're cutting your luck there, because I know a lot of weights 37 wins has not even been enough to get you top 100, which in my opinion is just outrageous. 37 wins with three losses out of 40 games, in my opinion, does get you top 100. It should get you top 100. You know, 37 wins is just outrageous. It's amazing. You know, I have never got 37 wins. I've come close. I mean, my highest amount of wins was 35, and that was a few months ago. Remember that when I got Elite 1 twice in a row? 35 wins is my max amount of wins I've ever got. I'm three wins off that, you know? To get top 100, three wins, three more wins up, up, up above that. So 38 wins is, your, is, your, is the goal. And uh, I always take a loss in that first 
10 games. Um, I think there's been one weekend where I've gone 10 and 10, but then I just buckled, and I think I, I got like three wins and seven losses. It was just something ridiculous. Um, that was just not good enough. But uh, oh, it's going to be tough getting in top 100. I do think we can do it, lads, towards the end of the year. Uh, you know, I feel I'm getting better though. I feel I'm getting better at FIFA comparing, you know, when I when I verse these pros, I feel myself getting better. Um, I really do. And, uh, you know, I think one day we can hit that top 100. But lads, as you would have told and I told you before, we did end up finishing our first 10 games with 9 wins and 1 loss. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Can we smash a like? As I said at the start, 15 likes is your target. I know you guys can always hit it, and thank you very much for that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And guys, I'll see you next time. Have a good day, and peace.